going to be your signature. All right? So you're going to, if you can, you're going to want this to be one continuous line. So we're going to do AW to start. You stick it down and make the A. So you've got your first line. And you come back down on it. And just keep your finger here to hold that point. Push everything down. There's the A. And I'm going to put my finger here now and go right into a W. It's the first part of the W. Now, obviously, I've done this you know, numerous times. And once you get your signature down, you can make a dozen of these cards in um, you know, maybe a half hour, even less. And once you've got those pre-made, you're set to go for as many performances as you'd like to there. And then when you get to the end and you've got your excess, you're going to trim it off like so. Just like that. Push everything down again so it's nice and flush. And of course, I'm missing the A, the line in the A. So if you've got a tricky name, this is the way you do it. You get the majority of it done, and then you take a remaining piece and put that on top of the already built layer. That way, when you peel everything off, that is going to be on top of it, and it will come off with it. All right, so that last layer here is going to go over top. I did that upside down. That'll go over top of the existing layer. Trim this off. Like so. OK, so now when I start to peel this off, I can peel from this end, and it's going to pick that up with it and peel the rest off. So if you've got a tricky name, you're just going to play with it. The first couple times making these things, play with it until you can figure out an easy way to use your initials. If you have to, um, use a different, use your first and middle initial or, or whatever, but really any letter in the alphabet will work with this as long as you play with it. Um, if you ever have questions on a certain letter, shoot me an email, you know, adam at illusionist.com. Uh, we'll go over it, but it should be pretty simple. Once you get this down, you can make them really quickly. And that's your gimmick. You're ready to go once you've done that. All right, guys, so once this is made up, we made a few of them, so we're going to switch over to the Ace of Diamonds. But you make your signature out of the tape on the back. And this is the setup for the trick. This is the card the spectator is going to sign the face of. So your duplicate card goes on top. That goes on top of the pack to start. Okay, now in performance, you're going to be drawing your initials on the back of the card. So just take note of what this looks like because you're going to want your initials to look as close as possible to this. It's really not, it doesn't have to be exact by any means, but you just want to mimic it as closely as possible. So setup goes duplicate card that's blank on top, your gimmicked one underneath, and those go on top of the deck. All right. So to start the routine, what you're going to do is you're going to force the pair of duplicates. All right? You can either cut them to the middle, hold your break, and do a riffle force. Or if you want a very free uh, selection, you can push it over here. It sticks together pretty well because of the tape. So you push it over, gesture, push over a few, and then slide. As you say, you can have any card you'd like. And what's happening is that is sliding underneath the spread there. Okay? So they touch one from the top. As they touch it, you square everything up underneath and show them that card. It's a very clean, awesome force I use all the time. So now they've seen their card. You say, actually, what we're going to do is make it very personal to you. I'm going to have you sign this. As you're getting the Sharpie out, which would be here, you're going to get a break under these two cards. I do it by pinking counting one, two. Okay, two cards. Get your break underneath, pick them up, turn the deck over, and have them sign the face. So that's a, in, in uh, motion, that's very fast. You say, you can pick any card you like, actually just touch one. This one here, take a look, and actually I'm gonna have you sign it. You put the Sharpie in front of them, get your break, Turn the entire deck over, have them sign the face of the card. Okay?
So we'll just sign Peter McKinnon. Now this is the, a great subtlety, but you really, really need to do this. Have them rub it, say it doesn't rub off, let me just dry it, and as you blow it, you pick the double up, blowing the, the ink dry, but showing that this is a blank back, okay? It's a, a great convincer, and I really, I, I really recommend not leaving that part, part out. So you have them sign it, blow on it, and then have them rub it and say, now that doesn't come off, right? Now what's happened is they've just signed the gimmicked card, but you've shown the back of this one. So, great, that doesn't come off, and I'm going to sign the back. Do your double, and now you're gonna mimic your initials. So you're gonna sign it as closely as possible. And once you've practiced this and made a few up, you're gonna have your signature down simply. And again, obviously I recommend just using your initials to keep it short and sweet. Again, you can pick up a double, blow on your signature, which shows their card is signed on the front with their name and your name on the back. Again, have them rub and say that doesn't come off. Say, I'm gonna try something interesting with your signature. Take a look at it and we'll do something special. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna spin this card as it's, it's a double, you're gonna spin it outward and as you do, we'll do it from underneath, as you do, you're stealing this card off into basically a modified Tenkai palm, kind of. So you can show it here. I line it up with the deck. As I come over, drop the card flush as I rub across to show the signature vanishes. Okay, it's a very pretty move when done smoothly. So you're gonna show the card, grip at the bottom right corner, Spin the card as you spin it. You're stealing it off. Lining it up. Coming over in a waving motion, vanishing the signature. So that's how to get their signature off. And then quickly, uh, I do a pinky count. Show the back still has it. You can briefly flash that. One last time at speed, show their card. Say, watch your signature. We're gonna get it to actually vanish right off the card. Okay? Now you show that the back, as you wrist kill, still has a signature. Ask them to rub it and verify. As they're doing so, under cover, turn that top card over grab this card back, turn it face up, and place it directly on the deck, okay? So in a motion, it would look like that. And as I'm doing that, I push this card over, catch a break, so I'm ready to go. As soon as this card comes on, I've now got a break under the two cards. I ask them to hold the pen, use it as a wand, or you can just say count to three. And as they do so, I'm gonna have them throw their signature back onto the card. Okay, so I say one, two, three, and then that's all you have to do. Okay, looks great at speed. They've just seen you pull the signature off. You have them hold the pen. Say on three, just wave the pen, whatever you'd like. You say, ready? One, two, three. Just like that, your signature jumps right back on. Now at this point, I say, now I've done something with your signature. Now I'd like to try something with mine. All right, you can't show this, so you do have to wrist kill again. So you just wrist kill and say, I'm gonna do something with my signature. And the deck goes aside or in your back pocket. Um, generally, when I'm performing in the real world, this goes directly into my back pocket. So boom, signature comes back. I say, I've made your signature do something magical. Let me try something with mine. And that goes into my back pocket. Check this out. What I'm gonna try and do is heat the signature up just a little bit. So I just rub on it. You know, you can, whatever, just tell them you're heating it up. Say, watch. Now don't underestimate this moment. 
actually peel my signature right off the card. And just relax for a second. Let that sink in. That's a, a crazy moment to people. You, they've just seen you sign a card, they've rubbed it, they know it's real, and you've just peeled the ink right off. First time I saw David Williamson do this, I was, I was floored. Uh, so let that sink in. Say, so I wanted to leave you with a souvenir, but I didn't want my signature to stay on there with you, so you can just take that. Uh, there's an ending.